when you start working on your Raspberry Pi Pico projects, what happens is you usually accumulate many files inside your Raspberry Pi Pico. So if I click open and then I choose Raspberry Pi Pico, you will see all the Python files that I'm using on my projects. I want to show you how I manage to create backups of these files and then how I transfer it to another Raspberry Pi Pico. By the way, you can only have that kind of feature, like you can select if you want to get files from your computer or to Raspberry Pi Pico, if you have the version of Tony 3.3.3. I believe it, you, if you have a lower version, that feature will not be available. So it's really important that you have this version for your computer. For us to manage these files, what we need to do is to click on view, then you click files. So you will see that you have here two options on where to select the files. So on this upper part, you will see the, my computer. So this is the computer. And this one is the for the Raspberry Pi Pico. So my R Pi Pico is already connected. So you're already seeing this. But if it's not connected, you will not see this. So you need to click stop. Those files will be here. So right now it's on my Dropbox. So my this is my personal Dropbox. So you can, I created a folder named Pico in which I can transfer these files here. So let's say I will delete all of this. So, well, I cannot delete this here, but let's say I will make a new project. So let's open this one. Let's open main file. So main file, this is a bl LED blinking simple project. So let's try to blink it like every two seconds. So let's slip it for one second, then another second. Then we can save it to Raspberry Pi Pico as LED blink two seconds. Then if you click OK, and then you run it. So basically it's running now, but you don't see it. But, whoops, I need to save it. I forgot to save it as that. Python. Save us. That Python is not running because it's not that Python. Okay, it's good now. So, yeah, it's now running. And then we can delete this because we don't need this. So, as you see, this file is not yet here. So, what I need to do is to right click here and then download to. This is the path where the folder or the project file will be added so if you click it here as you see it's now here so this files is on my computer basically it's on my dropbox so it's everywhere like on my my phone on my laptop because they're all synced so i can copy the files from this raspberry pi pico to a different raspberry pi pico or if this raspberry pi pico got broken i have all my files here with backup so I hope you have find this video useful, interesting. Please don't forget to like and to subscribe on my channel. Bye-bye.